Hello and welcome to your 8th, um, I suppose, um, C++ tutorial in a series of C++ tutorials. Um, last time I taught you uh, about something called the while loop. Today I'll be discussing what a do loop is and uh, what it does. First of all, create a new source file and again some boring required information. And actually, the reason I want uh, you always to type this uh, in each and every one of my tutorials is because that I want to like nail it, fa uh, nail it into your head or in your brain that always remember this. You are going to uh, like uh, if I come to your house and uh, awake you like 3 a.m. in the night, you'll be able to tell me exactly what. The basic formula of C++ application is so that's why I want you always to type this. Um, now we're going to have an int called x again, and uh, that's just actually going to be equal to zero again. Now to declare a do loop, you type d o do. Now you create a um, opening and closing bracket, and no parameters up here. Now, while down here, you type while two parameters and a um, semicolon, and now type x is equal to zero. Actually, while x isn't equal to zero. And um, now let's compile and run it, save this as do in our soon very populated um, folder right here. Now type x isn't equal to zero and if you haven't figured out the, yet that, that might be a little strange why it actually types it. I mean like it. Ch um, I told you last time that the while loop checks for if um, the, the while loop checks for if this is true before it even prints out something so it's weird that it prints it out actually because that we say that as long as while isn't equal to true no, uh, while uh, no uh, oh sorry I can't even talk that's so embarrassing I mean like as long as x isn't equal to zero um, it's going to print out this and um, you know yeah, that was that was that was what I meant. So now you may think um, like why then why does it say this? I mean like it will only do this if while isn't uh, if x isn't equal to zero and x is equal to zero. So why does it do this one time? Well, that's because that you see first of all we declare this variable right here called x and um, it's equal to zero and then it'll do this. It'll print out x isn't equal to zero and then first afterwards it printed out this it'll check it'll check um, with the while statement if this is actually true so now like imagine it like this you know um, you go do something and then uh, you go um, like um, you go steal a car and you think like oh yeah that's just so cool who I stole a car but then afterwards you think that ah oh, shit that was not actually so smart so I'll not do it again that's the same thing that the do loop actually does right here, you know. It prints out this, and then afterwards, it finds out when it comes to this line that, oh shit, I shouldn't have done that because x is not equal, because uh, x is equal to zero, and I was only supposed to do this if x was, it wasn't equal to zero. So, I'll stop right now. Sorry, uh, I forgot. That's what, uh, what, that's what a do loop can actually do. But, um... Yeah, I suppose that's actually a real quick tutorial on uh, do loops. So uh, actually, I don't really know what you can use it for, but um, I just feel like um, telling you the difference between a do and a while loop. Um, yep, I suppose I'll see you next time, and um, next time I'll be talking about something called a for loop. And the for loop is actually, I suppose, it's even more used actually than uh, while loops. 
So, um, yep, I s I'll see you in my next trail and take good care. Don't steal any cars, they'll uh, put you in big trouble.